Hey, hey, tell y'all family at this time, and the peace of y'all come upon you, we learn to obey him, brother. So that'll do a very important video at this time. I'm talking about Esau, and I'm talking about the fourth beast, the last beast, uh, uh, that is diverse from all the rest. The Greek and Roman Empire, yes, the Caucasian, the European, um, uh, fourth beast, what we're looking at. We're looking at the fourth beast um, that many controversies go out among our people. Many of our people refer uh, in the modern times uh, the fourth beast as Esau, which is further from the truth, brother. It's a difference between Esau, whom Esau's father, Yishak, said he was going to live by the sword. Yes, to defend himself by the sword, the weapon of war, of his choice. So these things we're going to look at. And you must look at the, this beast from the European nation as well as a, that the father showed in Daniel. But I'm not going to Daniel. To, all this information is coming from the prophet book Zechariah, Red Dead, chapter 9, Red Dead. And I'm going to start us off in verse 9. And so we're going to look at this. And we, and we got to see what Esau have done. See, because Esau aided, aided the fourth beast, the European nation. That in modern terms, they call, the Europeans call themselves white. So this is what we got, we're going to address, and this is what we're going to look at to see the distinction between the two. So you will know your enemies, brothers and sisters. So let's begin right here. So we're going to get right into it. I'm trying to not make this video too long, so I'm going to start off with verse 9 right here. I'm showing some things that are going to take place right here. It says, Rejoice greatly in verse 9, chapter 9, verse 9. It says, Rejoice greatly, O my people. It says, Talk for the naked, because this is about to um, come to pass. Shout with joy, for look, your king is coming, which is, the king is among us, is coming. He is righteous one. He is the, the righteous one. You see that? The victor. See, the one that going to give our nation victory. But the nation will be with him. The Messiah, who is the king, the Malik, is the one that going to lead our nation in victory of the Yah. So let's keep going. So yet, he is lowly riding on a donkey coat. I will disarm all the people of the earth. See, this apart, that's this coming. This never came to pass yet, including my people, Yasha Yel Yah. Don't overlook this statement right here. See, right here, it's showing you that the people of Yah, they say Israel, but it's Yasha Yel Yah, upright strength of Yah. I'm going to cover that again, dealing with his name and the meaning of our nation, the 12 tribes right here. See, he say, including my people, we're talking about going to be disarmed, showing. Once again, we're going to bear arms because we have another war to take, a fight to take. That's why he's saying the Messiah, the righteous one, the victor, you see. So we're going to cover that right here. It's saying, and he shall bring peace, see. The Messiah, the victor, going to bring peace among the nations. His realm should reach from sea to sea. See, all this is over time, person. So all these things got to come to pass, so you got to be patient. But we're going to walk right into these days and these times, and you're going to see this in your lifetime if you're alive during this time. It said, from sea to sea, from river to, to the ends of the earth, have delivered you from death in a waterless pit because of the covenant. I made with you. You see that? Sealed with blood. As they come to the place of safety. See, you got to know the place of safety where we got to come to. When I say come, he definitely here inviting us to come. Read on uh, Micaiah chapter 2 verse 1. Excuse me. Micaiah chapter 2 verse 12 to 13. And Sophia chapter 2 verse 1. Talk about gather yourself together. See, if they come to my place, all you prisoners, for there is yet hope. I promise right 
Now, I will repay you two mercy for each of your foes, see your troubles. Yada, you are my bow. You see that? Where the, where the king resides from Yada, from the sea line of Dawi, the branch of Dawi, Yah said that. I used to say Yah's cry, but the pronunciation is Yah said that. Yah see that. Yah our righteousness. See? That will see, let's get right here. Back to right. See, the righteous one. He is the righteous one, the victor, the king, the prince, the branch of Dawi, the breaker, the breach maker. So right here say, Yah that you are my bow. Ephraim, see, says that Ephraim, you are my arrow. See, the, Ephraim is the head of the northern tribe, but now we're going to come back together as one that is shown that in, in, in Ezekiel chapter 37 and Isaiah, Isaiah chapter 11, verse 14, 13 to 14. How Ephraim and Yah are going to be back connected as one. See, they're going into this war as one. It's a Yah, you are my bow. Ephraim, you are my arrow. Both of you, see, will be my sword. See, his weapon of war, like a sword of a mighty soldier brandished against the sons of Greece. Keep that in mind, brother, who the sons of Greece are. The last nation that defeated our nation, that came in, the fourth beast, that is diverse from all the rest. Remember, the fourth kingdom, the fourth beast, never been destroyed. It was split into four parts. In the greater part, the little horn took rule, but it's still part of the four beasts. That is Greece. See, it's still Greek or Rome, still are following the ways and the philosophy of the Greeks. You see that in their schools, brothers, sister, right before your face. Alpha, Beta, Kappa. Think about all these type of things, brothers and sisters. It's right here. Alpha, Omega. So keep that in mind. See right here, it says, Both of you will be my sword, like a sword of, of the mighty souls of brandish against the sons of Greece. Showing you our next battle. Right there, brothers and sisters. Showing you they are our enemy. We can't get out of this. It's already written in stone, brothers. Written in word. Y'all words without. See, the enemy know they enemy. But you, nation of Yad and Ephraim, got to know your enemy and prepare. Right here, say, Yah shall lead his people as they fight. See that? As they fight. Don't say y'all going to fight for you. Y'all said we are his Bow and arrow. We gonna fight. Y'all gonna lead us. He guided us. He gonna get, show you we gonna have the weapon of war again. But when the war is over, that's when the Messiah gonna tell you, put it down. We don't need it no more. All of this you got to know, brother and sister. I'm giving it to you now, so you can know. So let's get it. It said, Y'all shall lead his people as they. Fight, see, y'all. I'm emphasizing this so you can know. It destroy all the confusion, all the lies. Y'all, they got the word Lord, but it's y'all, the Barah, the Creator, shall lead His people, like He led us before in the land when we came out of Mizraim, and we had to take that land by the will of y'all. See, y'all giving us instructions to get through the prophets. So keep that in mind. I'm giving you the prophetic vision right now, brothers, right before your ears. It says, Yah shall lead his people as they fight. See, as they fight. Yah not fighting. That he fighting through us because he said we, he designated us as his weapon of war. The bow and arrow. I read it to you. Nobody can overturn it. They ain't nobody lies. Yah shall lead his people as they fight his arrows. Shall fly like lightning. You see that? And Yah Barah shall sound the trumpet call and go out against his enemies like a whirlwind off the desert from the south. He will defend his people 
and they will subdue their enemy. See, and they, they, not y'all, but it's still y'all, it's y'all plan. So it's still y'all, even though we fight it, it's y'all leading and guiding us to do this. It's right here. It says, he will defend his people and they will subdue their enemies, training them down beneath their feet. You see that? And they will taste victory. See? See that? Victory. Go taste victory. They're led by the Messiah to taste victory and shot with triumph. And they will slaughter their foes, leaving, hard, hard, uh, leaving horrible carnage everywhere. And Yah, Deborah, will save his people. And that day, see, we leave a hard country. And that day, when we destroyed the sons of Greece. In our land. In that day. That's what it say brothers and sisters. It say in that day. Let me get it. In that day. Let me go back up. It say. Um, Y'all. Deborah will save his people. In that day. As we. Or he will save us. In that day. When we will destroy our enemies. In our land brothers and sisters. Eradicate them out the land. Then you're going to be saved. You're not going to be saved without war. Brothers and sisters, get yourself ready for this. We can't get out of this, bro. These are the words as a shepherd carried for his sheep. See? And they shall shine in, the, in his land. See? In his land. We're going to shine in his land. As glistering jewels in a crown. How wonderful. And beautiful all shall be. Abundance of grain and wine will make the young men and girls flourish. And they will be radiant with health and gladness. They got happiness. I hate that word happiness. Because it's because they got the Egyptian got happy in it. But we're gonna be radiant with with uh, 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 righteousness and health, brothers and sisters. Put it that way. I want to end this. So I'm showing you, I showed you who is in our land and who we're going to war with in our land. Who the sons of Greece is still in our land, brothers and sisters. Believe it or not. He didn't say Esau. He said Greece. Right there. So now let's get to Obadiah right here. We're going to add Obadiah and we're going to, uh, we're going to address this in verse um, right here. Um, let me see. Seven. I'm gonna start off with chapter one, verse seven. So all your allies will turn against you. This is the judgment against Esau, and the final outcome of Esau. So let's get ready. It says in a vision, verse one, Yah Barah show over Yah the future of the land of Edom. See that they got the A. They got A right here in the footnote. A nation eastward. Of Yasha, yeah, you see Edom on the east side, east southeast, including uh, Petra, the city him from the rocks. Her southern boundaries was on the Gulf of Aqaba. See, so keep that in mind. Right on the east coast, um, east side, not coast, but east side of uh, of uh, 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 Mizraim, the one they call Kimberley, Egypt. That's where Edom lies. So today, the modern term today is uh, Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia, see. So right here, I'm going to verse 7 and say, um, and all your allies will turn against you and help to push you out of your land. And they will promise peace while plotting your destruction. Your trusted friends will set traps for you and all your counter strategies will fail. In that day, not one wise man will be left in all Edom, says Yah. For I will fill the wise men of Edom with stupidity. And the mightiest soldiers of Teman will be confused, helpless to prevent the slaughter. And why? Because of, see, we're going into why. And why? The reason, because of what you did to your brother, Yahshua Yahweh. Now we will see what Esau have done. Now you will see Esau and the sons of Greece. Cause see, 
See, the last people that came in our land and Esau watched. So let's read it right here. It shows you this right here. The, uh, the European, the one they call white in, in Esau, is not the same. So said, so why? Because you did you did to your brother Yashiel Yah. Now your sins will be exposed for all to see. So you're going to be made known. Ashamed and defenseless, you will be cut off forever. For you deserted Yashiel Yah in this time of need. See, in the time of our great need, you stood a loaf which is watching, refusing to lift a finger to help him when the invaders carried off his wealth and divided Yahshua alone. See that? Among them by a lot. See? So, see, so Esau watched all this take place, brothers and sisters. It said, you were as one of his enemies. See that? You should not have done it. You should not have gloated. See, glo a golden grim, a grin scornfully, you know, a gaze looking at them and maliciously watching them getting destroyed, brothers and sisters, smiling at them in a malicious way. Glad they was uh, they, they was getting killed and, and, and taken. So let's keep reading, brother. You see, um, you should not have gloated when they took him far away to foreign land. You see that? See, he watched them take us far away to foreign land, to European people. Esau watched this. Esau wasn't the one that took us the far away. See, he watched the Europeans take us far away. You get that right there, brothers and sisters, before your eyes. She so said, for him uh, 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 far away to foreign lands, you should not have rejoiced in the day of his misfortunes they had it. You should not have mocked in his time of need. See that? Made fun of him. Yourselves went into the land of Yahshua. See now, sorry about this. Esau see, went into our land and, and the day of his calamity, in the day of our trouble, Esau went in. When the Europeans came into attack and looted him. See that? And stole from our land. You made yourself rich. See, Esau became rich at his expense, at our ancestors' cause. You stood at the crossroads, see, at the crossroads at their borders and killed those trying to escape. See that? So Esau had his hand into the killing as well as some of our people trying to escape from the European nation.